Next, the new boss of Adam Brooks Hospital has been speaking for the first time about how he plans to turn the struggling hospital around. Roland Sinker was appointed following the sudden resignation of Dr Keith McNeil two months ago. Since then, the Care Quality Commission has labelled the hospital as failing. It has chronic staff shortages and is losing more than a million pounds a week. Anna Todd reports. Roland Sinker is new at the helm of Adam Brooks Hospital. Rated failing by the CQC, that doesn't face him. He spent the last decade at King's College NHS Trust in London, another struggling hospital where he held the top job for the last 12 months. I can work as a healthcare assistant and I can certainly observe in theatres, observe in outpatients. And so I think it's hugely important, whatever your skill set, um, if you're working in a leadership role in the NHS, that you build that clinical exposure and experience by getting out onto the front line every single week. In September, CQC inspectors reported caring staff as outstanding, but the hospital was inadequate in all other areas. The hospital is facing huge financial problems, hemorrhaging a large amount of money every week. How are you going to save money but retain quality? The key piece here is to focus right now on listening to staff, engaging with staff and other stakeholders to work out how we can both improve quality but also make the best possible use of the funds that are invested in healthcare by the taxpayer. I've been talking to a number of members of staff who said that morale is very low amongst them. Um, they want somebody who's going to listen to them, someone who's honest, someone who's going to keep them in the loop. What's your commitment to them that you will do that? I'm engaged at the moment in a series of listening events with members of staff in small groups where they can come into my office for a cup of tea, possibly a healthy cake, and then they can really share with me how they feel about the trust in a sort of Chatham House rule, completely open sort of a way. Keith Neal has been quoted fairly recently of saying he has his fingers crossed that staffing levels and bed capacity are enough to cope this winter. That doesn't sound too promising. Winter happens every year. What we need to make sure we're doing is as a health system planning well in advance for that winter and that's the hospital, it's general practice, it's social care, it's our commissioning colleagues all working together as I know they are already here to develop a really robust plan for the winter. Do you feel that you now have enough staff, particularly nurses, to cope this winter? I'm pleased to see um, in my first six days here that since the challenges identified by the CQC in the spring uh, around staffing levels that we have recruited more staff and that our temporary staff base is significantly reduced. One of the things I'll be seeking to assure myself on as we go into the coming weeks is are we fully prepared for winter and do we have the right numbers of staff in the right parts of the hospital. Roland Sinker believes he can turn this hospital around. He says he's here for the long haul. Anna Todd, BBC.